Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and today I wanted to go over how I am going to be using these four Hobonichi Weeks in 2022. I have the Mega, this is the Sneaker Weeks in lime green. This is the 365 Day, that's the name of this, Weeks. I have the Dandelion and the Tiger. Both are the... Um, the fabric, tie fabric uh, covers. These two, I will not be starting until January 1, uh, nor will I be using the, uh, the sneaker weeks until January 1. This one, I will be starting on Monday, which is tomorrow, November 29th, and I'll go into why. But I wanted to show you how I'm going to be using each week's and what it's replacing. So the easiest one, I think, to go through is the Sneaker Weeks. This is what I keep in my wallet, and it is a pen-only Weeks. I don't do anything other than um, pen. It just, like, I just write down certain things, my grocery lists. Some weeks I don't put much in at all. Some weeks I get a lot in. It just depends. And so... Uh, there was a lot of notes in this from my mom, um, about my mom, since we put her into assisted uh, living uh, this year. But um, this just slides in there. Uh, and that's basically it. It is a pen, usually a pen only. I don't put stickers in it other than my traditional Death Wish sticker. But this one usually just gets tossed. Um, at the end of the year, um, I have cut these apart before and used them in my uh, Filofax Molden. The sneaker fits the Molden perfectly. Uh, it's the same height, um, and you can punch. You can take the, the um, individual uh, signatures out, and you can punch them, and they fit perfectly in the Molden or the personal size of the uh, Filofax. But uh, so far, I really like the Chatelaine from Speckled Fawns, and it has worked really well as my wallet, and I'll probably continue to do that for 2022. So that will re be replaced January 1st. Next up is uh, the Dandelion Weeks is going to be my, well, these two, we have the Dandelion Weeks and we have the Tiger Weeks. And these two are going to be, one is going to be a memory keeper, which is the Dandelion Weeks. And then one is going to be a commonplace journal. Actually, switch that up. The Tiger is going to be the commonplace, no, the com. oh my gosh, I can't even get it straight in my head. The Dandelion is going to be my commonplace journal or book and then the tiger weeks is going to be my memory keeper for this year um so we have those two this was the camp weeks and i loved it and in this i started out putting doing memory keeping in it and, and memory the memory keeping weeks is the only weeks that i use stickers in or really the only planner i use stickers in and uh, I have enjoyed doing that. About May, I started slacking off, and then come June, I just kind of started writing in it and just didn't feel like going back to it. Um, and then I was having issues trying to get back into the weeks, doing memory keeping. And this is um, where I did my initial wish list, what I thought I was going to get. And I thought about, I was torn between the dandelion weeks and the tiger weeks. Um, but then uh, I started doing some research on a commonplace journal. And 
That is putting in quotes uh, or things that I find from books that I have been reading. And I really enjoy doing that. And I'm like, I want to do this for a whole year. And that has got me back in to doing that. Um, I still have to do uh, the rest of this week. But I have loved doing that. And the stickers um, for the holidays, I usually go in and do those ahead of time. But, and I have, you know, a ton of my kits from Coco Daisy just tucked here in the back that I have not used. But um, they're there if I want to. And so the commonplace book is what the dandelion is going to be. Then the memory keeper is going to be 2022's Tiger. And I decided to make this my memory keeping book because there is a lot that I'm going to have to get over in 2022 <laughs> with my recovery from my hip replacement, doing a second hip replacement at some point in time, recovering, trying to get back to running and getting back into exercising and that kind of thing. So I'm going to be jumping over a lot of hurdles in 2022. And so I wanted to have that be my memory keeping. So that's how this is going to be used. Now, this particular weeks, which is called the 365 day weeks. And, um, I loved it because of the story behind it, but also that it had the calendars on the outside of it. And I just thought that was really creative and cool. And I loved that. And I, this was the one that I knew no matter what I was going to get. However, when this, the opportunity to get the Tiger Weeks came up, I was like, you know, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it. And you guys saw the unboxing to that. And so then I was like, well, I don't know what I'm going to use all of these for. Then, lo and behold, <laughs> the new Sumkins came in and certain things were not there. So where I keep track of my steps was not there. So I'm going to keep my steps here. And then I'm going to put all of my daily stats from my ring, from my aura ring and my Garmin watch, which typically I put here at the bottom. That is going to go here. And I started, um, I sh I'll show you here. I was testing it out. Um, doing some backfilling um, in November. So that's what that looks like. And I really liked that look of it because I'm like, okay, I can see when I have issues. The only thing that I'm going to change about how I do this is that if it's a really low number, that like here, my sleep was 47, which means I had very poor sleep that day. What I would do is put that number in red so that it would stand out to me. Um, but it's because I went to bed at 2.10 a.m. So when I don't go to bed on, by 11, between 11 and 11.30, um, well, 11 and 11.15, then I will put that in red just so it kind of stands out. Um, much in the way that I've done here. So uh, I will put that in here. Then, um, well, technically in here. So this is the one that I'm going to be starting Monday, which is November 29th. I am a huge proponent of not starting a new Hobonichi until the end of the year or till the beginning of the year, January 1st. However, because I've been changing things so much, I just want to start this. And what I will probably end up doing is doing some duplication for, for December. But 
because December 14th, I am getting my hip replacement done. I wanted to be in the book that I will be taking with me to my doctor's appointments every time just so they can look at everything. Um, and I'll have reference for it constantly. So this is that book. And it was the perfect one to do that. I'm not going to put this in a leather cover. It is just going to be exactly like this. And then in here, in the, in the days, this is where I am going to put how I feel. And I have been doing that. Well, let me give you the full view. I started 2022 doing that in the Hobonichi uh, Techo Evac. And I had, you know, missed days. But putting in how I felt, if I was taking my medications, if I was exercising, all of that kind of thing. And then when I was leading up to my lower back ablation, I was even putting in a pain scale in here. But uh, that was the sole reason of having this single book. For 2022, I thought I was going to put it all in the full Techo version, which is this side. This is the English version, but I bought the Japanese version for 2022. But I actually like this for that particular reason more, and it will fit in my purse easier, all of that. And it just gives me everything I need. But here you can see I started writing out how I felt the night, the every day at the bottom here. But this is also, this is my everything planner. And I don't necessarily want to whip this out and let my doctor look at it at any point because, you know, there are things that they don't really need to see and all that kind of stuff. So I will um, continue through the rest of the year putting these stats here as well and then the weather and stuff, but I'm going to just use this for journaling and then it'll just kind of go back to how I had it before, except those won't be there. But I've liked doing it this way in very in my Sumkin, and because the Sumkin didn't have that for the new year, I just needed to find a new place to put it, and it just made sense. When I pulled everything out and trying to determine how I was going to use everything, it just I'm like, this is my this is my health planner for 2022. And it may end up that I am probably going to sell my A6 uh, Techo, which is the Japanese version, um, but that's okay. Or if I don't use it, I may use that as, you know, something else throughout the year. I don't know. But I'm very excited to use this as my single health planner for the year. I even moved over this bright, my brightly colored uh, Shitajiki. This one's from this year, 2021. And it just, it matches perfectly. And it's just how I'm doing. And then if I have uh, physical therapy appointments or anything like that, I will put that in here. I will journal about my recovery, anything like that in this. So that is how I'm using these. Um, I just, it makes sense. And I did not realize how kismet it was going to be um, until I pulled them all out and started working on them. Now these both will be in a plastic cover as well. Once I pull them out, um, I just grab these out of my box um, that I usually do not get into until 2021 or till that January that year. But I'd already pulled this one out just to start looking at how I could use it. And those are the stickers that actually came with this particular version, um, which I loved. 
And so I will probably use those as well. We will see. Since I'm not going to put this in a cover, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that. Um, I just need to test and see how far out the um, little tabs stick out. I may put them along the top. I'm not sure. But as I said, I'm not going to put this in a, in a leather cover at all. It is strictly going to be this. These two will be in a leather cover. This one will go on my wallet. And that is how I am using my uh, Hobonichi Weeks. All four of them. <laughs> Typically, I do not have this many. But uh, for various reasons, that's what I ended up this, with this year. So these three came in my Hobonichi order. This one I ordered or I bought off of the Buy Sell Trade Group separately. And I love it. And very happy with how I've decided to use these. And there you go. How I'm going to use these four weeks um, in 2022. And this one gets started tomorrow. So I'm really excited about this. So anyway, if you are using more than one week, or so maybe if you're just using one week, so let me know down below how you're using those. Um, I'm sticking with the Cousin of Vec for Planner Prime. I did find another uh, Midori cover. I knew I had one somewhere in this house, and I'm using the, uh, the two together as a single planner in here for Planner Prime for 2022. And uh, that's my planner lineup, pretty much. Um, I do have one other planner. It's called the Ritual Planner, which um, will handle, you know, all of the spiritual side of my stuff um, all in one. But it is not here yet. But other than that, that's it. Other than my Moxie Life for the house. In my budget planner. So there you have it. But this is mostly to show you how I'm using all four weeks. I'm like, oh my gosh, it seems like a lot, but I like keeping things separate and I've enjoyed doing the commonplace book and I am very excited to have this be my commonplace book for 2022. My memory keeper, my on the go everyday pen only, and my health planner. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.